everyone, welcome back. Um, my name is April. I'm also Wicked Crafty Mom, and I am going to work on making, putting my book together, my next book. Um, and I had started doing this to show you guys, and uh, failed miserably because I only recorded three minutes. So I took all the pages out of this. I cut them out. Um, Nick the Booksmith can show you how to do that on her YouTube channel. Um, she's great and talks about, you know, the bindings and, and whatnot. Um, I had intended to do this with you, but, um, you know, just didn't work out. So what I've done in the, since then, after I took all the pages out, I took that black this is that black fabric that I bought at the Dollar Tree, the black pillowcase that I bought, and I glued it down with some of my um, PVA glue. And that holds it really well. And then I took a strip of, two strips of ribbon, because I didn't like how um, kind of crunchy the edge was. I took two strips of ribbon. I glued them to papers because um, I wanted to have another layer in between the ribbon and the edge because you could see where the edge was crooked and I didn't want that. So I glued ribbon on top of some paper with text on it and um, just stuck it down. I actually used, ah, it's not for this purpose, but this is the stuff that I get in the um, kit when for um, putting my plastic on the windows in the winter. So this is super heavy duty, <laughs> double sided tape. And I just needed to get this on because I was very frustrated with lack of filming and you know, the way it was coming out. Anyway, I like this a lot. And then what I did was I punched two holes in here and I put some um, eyelets. In. And right now I'm just looking to squish them a little better because um, I'm about to glue stuff on top of it. So I want to make sure that they're as squished as they're going to get. And so I'm putting these on here so that I can add charms from the binding. So this is going to be my top. This is going to be my bottom. So now the next thing I did was I started measuring out. This is, I'm doing a hidden binding. So I measured the inside of this book. Oops. And then I, then I did that. Measured the inside of this book. So this is going to fit right in this area here. Um, when it's time to glue it in. So there's that. Um, and this is just another piece of lasagna box. We don't have lasagna as often as I make it look like, but it, uh, one box goes a long way for, for um, templates and whatnot. So, so I have taken this and I cut it. It is, it was originally 22 and a half centimeters, um, but really the bigger part is it's two and a half centimeters wide. I measured in centimeters because it was easier for me than, than, um, inches just because I had such small units uh, that I was working with. So um, now I'm just going to poke a hole. I, I divided it into six. I should backtrack a little. I'm making five signatures that I'm going to put into this book. So I have a spot for each of them. So I've got five lines here. So I know that I'm going to poke holes in the middle and I know that this is um, halfway between this and the middle because um, I folded it down like this. Then I did have to cut some off so it's not it doesn't look exactly like that anymore but it'll be fine. So now I'm poking holes where each of the lines intersect. And again, there are videos online on how to bind books, but we're going to do this together anyway. And they're probably, to be honest, they're probably better videos, but that's okay. 
So we are going to do this. I'm poking my holes. I've got, I'm going to have three holes, five rows of three holes a piece for my signatures. And I'll show you how we'll put those in in a minute. So the next thing, now that I've got my holes poked, the next thing I'm going to do I'm going to do a couple things. I am going to, I have, this is all going to be covered up, so I'm not even worried about what it says. I've got all sorts of, um, I'm not worried about it, but this has some, whoops, man, that comes out fast. This has some um, naughty words in it. Um, okay, so. But this is what I wanted to do. I want to fold, so I'm gonna cover the inside here. So I am going to fold this in half on purpose. Yep, in half. And you can measure, not much of a measurer. So I'm folding it in half, and I'm just gonna cut it along that line. is that okay so I am going to take my PVA glue and my PVA gluer oops and that and I am just going to glue the snot out of this area lots of glue I want to make sure that this sticks that there is no question it's gonna stick I think there is no question I hope okay so I'm going to cut here again I'm just kind of eyeballing it Let's see. Yeah, this looks good. All right. So I wanted it kind of right up against this edge. I probably should have done this part before I stuck the eyelets in, but that is something I can easily remedy with my awl. And that was one of the things that I, that's what I used to poke the hole, my awl. I gave it my all, you guys. Okay, so I'm just flattening this out. And you'll see why I'm not worried about the fact that it says sexy up here. I mean, it's not my favorite, it's not great, but it'll be fine. Oops. And I'm just poking my holes again because I do want to be able to put stuff through here later. So I was finding my holes and now I'm going to just because the edge seems to be peeling a little bit once the glue dries I'm not even worried about it but until that point I'm a little worried about it okay and it's totally fine that the glue what came out so fast because we are going to be using it okay so in order to get here I need 13 centimeters there I've got one one way and one the other 13 centimeters and then I want it to be starting from here to here is 21 centimeters 21 centimeters so I want this so I'm measuring right from this line to here was 13 
So I'm going to do that on both sides. So I'm going to measure. Uh, let's see what am I going to measure first? Going to measure 21 first. Aye. Okay, so then I'm going to make three, three marks at the 21 centimeter mark. One, two, and here's number three. Rock on. There's my 21 centimeter mark. Now I'm going to make a line. Cut it. And that'll give me my height. I could use a paper trimmer. In fact, that would probably be a smart idea, but I'm not gonna do it. Okay, so there's that. And now I'm going to make two 13 centimeter Oh my goodness, I'm ridiculous. Okay. 13 centimeters. I don't need to do two, I just need to measure it once. Okay. Roughly 13 centimeters. Alright. Yep. Roughly 13 centimeters. Once I squish it flat. So I'm lining up. <laughs> lining up the top of the page and then I'm taking my ruler and I'm making sure that when I smush it flat on this side that it's at 13 centimeters and it was you know measure twice cut once I don't even measure once because I'm a rebel now I'm just making sure that this is in alignment to the best of my ability. I did measure, but, but, there we go. Okay. So after this is done, my cover will be done. I'm gonna take my corner chomper and I'm going to, this is my crocodile. We are Memory Keepers Crocodile Corner Chomper. And I'm gonna go right ahead and chomp my corners because I wanna. Now I picked this particular paper because it reminds me of, you know, china patterns. It just reminds me of old things. No offense, mom. Um, just reminds me of like fabrics that my mom has had. Um, and that kind of thing. My mom quilts, so there. And it's almost perfect. I mean, not a thousand percent perfect, but it's almost perfect. And so I'm going to take my glue and I'm going to glue it down. Watch me glue it. I mean, you don't have to watch me, but it's pretty much what I'm doing right now, so. I'm not going to make you watch me glue it. Okay. So there is, whoops, I got a little paint. But I'm about to cover it up, so I'm not real worried about it. Not wicked worried about it, yeah. All right. So there is half of the inside of my cover. Here's the other half. I'm going to need more of my PVA glue, but I don't, I don't want to dump it out because it came out so fast. 
Let's see. Be prepared this time, me. Okay, that's good. That's lovely. All right. Oops. Spilling it on my craft knife. Oops, and knocking over my camera. Not really, but. All right. Glue boogers. Okay. So. I have been mentally not so much preparing for the kids going back to school, uh, but trying to prepare for the kids to go back to school. Like I said, mentally. I have anxiety in general, but, you know, throw in a pandemic. And I am just loads of fun. Alright. So now I'm going to line this up. There. So now I've got this purpley bluey inside of my book. And I'm going to put that aside to dry for right now. Now remember, I've got this somewhere. Oh, this. I've got this. And I am actually going to use the rest of my glue here to glue this to this paper. And you'll see why I'm doing it in a minute. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's do this. Let's do it this way. Okay. So, I'm going to line it up here. There. On the side. Lined it up on the side so I have less to cut. Uh, and then I'm going to rip it. Because that's a clever way to go. Alright, so now that I've got it pressed down... I'm going to press it on this side using my cloth. Make sure I get it. Make sure I rip it some more. Make sure I get the air bubbles out. Yay. This glue is awesome when it dries. All right, so I'm going to let this dry too. Now, the next part, I'm going to check because I am so paranoid. Yeah, I'm still recording. I'm so paranoid that I'm not recording anymore. So I have five batches of paper and the five batches of paper we're going to turn into my signature, my signatures. So I've got them, I've got them here. I had measured them and cut them um, on the video that did not happen. So I made a template for this yellow book to show me how big my, my pages were going to be. And then I folded these papers that I chose in half and cut them so that they would fit inside the book. Um, again, I can show you how to do that on my next book because this one didn't, didn't work out that way. But that's okay. Uh, I'm going to make myself a cheat sheet also, now that I'm looking at it, because I am going to need to measure my, um, I'm going to need to measure where I put my holes. So, so what I've done on all these other, and what I'm going to do now, is I'm going to go through and I'm going to decide which order I want these to go in. So I want this on the outside. Because I like this bird. Yeah, I like this bird. And I've got all different kinds of papers. Um, all different kinds of papers. And I'm going to line them up. 
here and just figure out the order I want them in. There's that. And this I had cut down also. Whoops, here's the middle. And these are just, I mean, this one is just a magazine page that I really thought was pretty. Some coffee dyed papers. Okay. So, I've got that. I want this on the top. So now when I look through my signature, I have these papers and this is what it's going to look like. And I'm pretty happy with that. Now I did measure out the pages and um, folded them, creased them, got them ready to go. And I'm going to have to pause there for a minute. And I'm back. Okay. So I've got these. I've got these um, organized the way I want them. This is my bone folder. And I'm just going to go through and I'm going to crease everything again. Because last time I did, I don't think... I don't think... Um, I think I coffee dyed them again after. So they lost their creases. So I'm just going to kind of refirm them because it was looking a little puffy. But that could be because of the magazine pages too. I coffee dyed those. And when I coffee dye stuff, I iron it. And when you iron these pages that are glued together, like magazine pages and covers and stuff, um, the glue inside and the, the air inside heats up and it turns it into like a bunch of bubbles. So, but I want these to be kind of cr as crisp as I can get them because, because I do. Okay, so there is that. And now I am going to this is dry. So I'm going to cut this edge off here. And then I'm going to take this, and this is going to be my cheat sheet. I'm going to take this, I'm going to fold it in half. Long way. Then I'm going to fold it in half. the short way I guess and I'm going to fold each half in half and again I'm not worried about this what this one says in particular because um, because yeah um, this is just my cheat sheet so I folded it in half and then I folded it and where they cross is where I'm going to put my holes. This is going to be my template for poking holes in my, in my, pages. That's the word I was looking for, pages. Oy. Okay. Since I've got my all out, I'm going to re-poke my holes. through the paper, whoops, through the paper that I glued on. I make my five holes. So when I go to sew them on, and I'm gonna be very careful not to poke myself, when I sew them on, this backing, the holes are obvious. So this is going to be the thing that I sew my signatures on, and this is going to be the thing that I glue into the book. 
and it will make it'll make sense in a bit. So, or maybe you've seen bookbinding videos before and it already makes sense and I don't know. So, I went through and I coffee dyed stuff and then after I had coffee dyed stuff I found this um, batch of papers and I hadn't um, I hadn't coffee dyed some of them and I wanted them all coffee dyed so I bet went back after I had pulled them all out and coffee dyed them <laughs> okay so what I'm doing now is I clip this to keep everything together and these are my pages and I'm taking this where where it folds is the middle of it so I'm going to take it and I'm folding it and holding on to it there and I'm going to take my cloth and I'm going to put it behind what I'm doing and then I'm going to put this down and I'm going to poke the holes through all of the layers and I'm just going to do that to each of them to each of these holes make sure that it's in the center make sure that it's coming out the center which it's not let's try that again still not coming out the center see and this is why you got to be careful so there we go now it's coming out the center okay there's that so now I can get rid of this part I've got to make my holes a little bigger because I know my needle's not going to fit through. And that's the wrong, wrong one. There we go. There. And now my needle will fit through. So I am going to thread. I have this large needle that I like to use for this. And you take two and a half, one, Two and a half, that's two. Here's the half. Lengths. Shout out to Danny who taught me how to do book binding. Uh, hi Danny. And shout out to my mom who taught me about junk journaling. Okay, so now I've got this, this, uh, I've got my backing and I've got my um, pages. So I'm going to go in the middle hole and I'm going, I was trying to figure out if I wanted to go out from the front or out, if I wanted to go out or if I wanted to come back up through this way and start that way. I want to leave, leave some tail on this. And I'm just clipping that so that I won't pull it all the way through. And then you go in the top and pull it through. And then you skip the middle. You go out the bottom. And then you're going to go back through. Oh, you know what? I'm a dork. Did this on the last video too, which is like stupid funny. Okay, so I'm gonna clip this again. And there we go. That's clipped. I'm gonna re-thread my needle. And that's why I like this big fat needle because it's stupid easy to thread. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Watch me not be able to thread it. Okay, so I'm gonna make this one is gonna be my first when I open the book. So I am going, it's coming out and I'm putting it through the first hole in the middle like this, okay? So this is how we're attaching it to, this is how we're attaching it 
to the binding. So then I'm going to go through this top hole in the template in the binding and I'm going to go through the top hole. Aha! See what a difference it makes when you actually, um, you know, do what you're supposed to do. Okay. So then again, I'm going to skip this middle and I'm going to go out the bottom and I'm going to find the first hole and I'm going to go out through that. Then, this is the part I was at when I realized I'd messed up. Then you're going to go back through the middle hole. Here's the middle hole there. And there's the middle hole in there. It's all the way through. And this is my cat. No, no, no. No, no. Don't growl at me. Okay. She leaves me alone all day until I start crafting. Okay. So this is the one that I clipped. So it's on this left side here. So that means I want the one that I just brought up through on the right side. So you you make them um, and make a thread sandwich. And I'm going to pull tight. And I'm going to tie double knots. And I'm going to leave the string on for right now because you can decorate them or not as you wish. But now I have this This is, um, this is up, and now I've got this attached. So I'm going to do that for the rest of this. The rest of them. That's what I'm trying to say. I've got these other five, or other four um, signatures ready to go. So. I am going to do that. Right up the center. Two. Bullseye. And three. Oh, that was my finger. I didn't get hurt. I just, uh, you know, my finger was there. Where did I put my thread? Where did I put my thread? A thread? You're just like a thread to me. Come back. Aha, hiding. So I'm just using embossing, or, jeez. I'm just using embroidery thread. You can use whatever kind of string, twine, yarn um, that you want. And thread my needle. Trying not to forget to actually attach it to the thing. Okay, so this is my second one. Again, I'm going to go down through. Let's see. And this is... Which way is up? This way is up. Okay. So... I came out through my middle hole, so I'm going to go out through my middle hole. And then I'm just going to uh, hold this. There we go. That works. And then up through the top. This is probably the sloppiest way I could do it, but it's the way I'm doing it. Up through the top and then in through the top. And this is why you should probably clip your papers. Well, boogers. I lost my thread even. Okay. I feel like this is going to be edited. <laughs> okay, so one hole 
Now I'm I'm going through and just sewing through every oh there we go. There we go. I think I found my whole my whole patterns here. Nope. Not all of them. There. How about now? Nope. There we go. There's that. And that. Ah! I did it. There it is. Okay. There's that. Ooh, that almost went away. And now I skip that middle hole again. And I hope I can align all the other holes here. Hello. Guess I'm going one at a time. Yep, one at a time. That's fine. I might skip a lot of this. I might fast forward it. I might do something like that. Who knows? Guess we'll find out. There we go. There's that. There's the last one. So there. And then we go through the second hole. Like this. And then we go back in through the middle. Don't forget to split the difference here. It'd be awesome if I could. Aha! There. I guess I don't need that needle anymore, huh? At least not for this one. Tie my knots. Tie nice and tight. Tie nice and tight. My cat's coming back. She thinks she can outsmart me by waiting five minutes. She can't. You can't. Okay. So there, I've got two on now. Three to go. This time I'm gonna keep it clipped because that caused me problems last time. You doofus. Two and a half and you know what it's not going to change for the other two so i'm just going to measure it out now there's that and i am going to go ahead and stop the video and get the rest of them done hi everyone i'm back and through the miracle of television, it's actually been three days. And um, I have sewn this all together. And so you can see that the binding, this is all sewn to this binding. And then the last step, I took my PVA glue and I put some in this squeeze bottle because I only have, it's blowing bubbles at me, because I only had it in that big container and it was coming out so um, quickly and I didn't want it to come out that quickly so now I'm just going to use my finger although I am really wishing I had my cloth ready but I prepared minimally because I'm this is just a wrap up video just a wrap up to the video but I am going to glue I'm going to hold this, try to keep my strings in the, out of the way of the glue here, because I want them to hang down, actually. Make sure I've got this facing the right way, the way that I want it, and now I'm just going to glue it in the center here. One of my... Oh. Nope. Just kidding. One of my nothing. Okay, so now I just need to clip this together to let it dry. And you can see that the binding is in the center here. 
I don't want to put it together yet. I want it to stay. So I'm going to have to figure that out. What am I going to do? Maybe just hold it down for now. Maybe I... I'm trying to get it to... Oh, I need it to slide down a little bit. Anyway, there we go. It slid down a little bit. There. Okay, so what am I going to do here? I am going to... Alright, it's squished now. So let's see if I have any clips that'll hold it closed. I'm, oh, you know what? I might have bigger clips. There we go. This should do it, maybe, hopefully. Oh, it's not happy about it, but it's holding it. And one more. Come on, babies, you can do this. All right. So now my bindings are in where they're going to stay. I've got my five uh, signatures sewn in. And at some point I'm going to decorate the cover some more, but I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with that yet, so I'm going to leave it for now. And uh, I'm going to call that good. And if you like what you saw, please subscribe and share and like this video. Um, and you can check me out on, in, on Facebook in my group, which is called... Wicked Crafty Mom. Should be able to find me if you search that. And uh, we're, we have fun in the group. Um, I, I have more stuff planned to happen in the group as well. Um, and so you can check me out there and come hang out, lurk, participate, whatever you want to do. And uh, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.